Good day, good day. How the hunk are you? Welcome to the last installment of the Matchbox. Oh boy, we're off to a good start. <laughs> to the Matchbox Land Rover 90. That's right. I, um, boy, this has been quite the adventure, and this is probably one of the reasons why I have almost waited one year to do a highlight of one of my most favoritest castings of all times, the Matchbox Land Rover 90. I love the real truck. I'd love to have one. I've drove a couple. I've drove a couple. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, uh, this is it. And uh, if you guys uh, recognize, this is the last installment. Uh, these are the last cars that Matchbox has put out of this Land Rover 90. All right, uh, where do we want to start? Well, let's just start off with 2016, the uh, number 60 variation. Oh my goodness, we are dropping everything today. I'm all butterfingers. Uh, BMA, uh, BM, B-A-M-C-A dot org is where I'm getting my information from. All my information and details on it. Uh, so we are, the this casting is MB180. Now, they also call this the modified BM 721, which is kind of a, bra a branch off from this one, but uh, they also listed as a MB 180B because there are quite a few different changes in this. And I'm sorry, I'm going to jump around here. This just shows up a lot of the lines and details a lot better. So we're going to take a look at the mint one, which happens to be the last of the last. But let's just take a look. As we notice, this has gotten a different base to it. There's a couple of key things that happened in this last year. And uh, you can see now this well, uh, was... Uh, metal but they did finally go into plastic for the base uh and but it was still this raised up center and now they have kind of flattened it right down and you can see here that they have kind of just uh had the axles and everything but they've just taken a whole chunk right out of the middle there to make it more let's say efficient <laughs> let's say efficient but uh there you go um yeah really really kind of cool um the other thing that they have changed was uh kind of more expensive is they went with the whole metal roof uh they have gone away from using a plastic top that would just uh uh, uh it would uh, we'll, we'll look at it later but anyway that was the major changes here. And uh, in 2016, uh, after, oh, quite a few, four years of silence, Matchbox decided to do something great and wonderful and brought out the Defender 90 back. All right. And this was the first one. This is Payne and Sons uh, Construction. And this is the one that came out in the Land Rover series. Now, they've done Jeep series and uh, other uh, vehicle series. I think right now Camaro and Ford is out right now. But they did a Land Rover series. So, I've done videos on this before. Uh, you can check the, that playlist for that. Um, and here's the five-pack. Uh, second from the top was the uh, Land Rover 90, and uh, just very, very nice. Um, it also came out on the card, and I, I just wanted to show you this. I bought this on the second market because I couldn't uh, buy one. I paid kind of a pretty penny because I wanted it in its original box like it came from Mattel. This is a complete set of 
the Land Rover 90 or the Land Rover series as it would show up at Walmart. Now this was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, so and and it did not go to all the Walmarts. My for instance, my Walmart did not carry these on the shelf, the five pack or the single. So here is the single, and this is what it looked like. It was uh, now interesting enough, they have the Land Rover 90 spelled out with the Land Rover grip, but now by this time on the base, they are now using the number to signify it, Land Rover 90. So interesting, interesting stuff there. So that's what it would look like on the single card. It had all of them listed. The other interesting point is the Range Rover Evoque was not on the five pack. That was just um, a loose one. So um, try to find that one, huh? All right. So that was number 60, 2016. The next one, and I, I have a, I, I kind of show you everything that I have of these kind of a inventory rundown. These are very limited. I have uh, just a few on the card, uh, a complete set. I have a, a clip strip of uh, uh, carded and a protecto, but I have just a few of these um, loose, not so many, not so many, uh, which is different with this bugger right here. Uh, let's take a look at the card right away. This is the Matchbox uh, Land Rover 90. Now they switched over and, and using the number now. This is the TC Taylor construction and uh, came out uh, 2017. And oh my goodness, uh, they pumped these out. Um, I have so many of these. I have, I've drilled so many apart. I have uh, done so many things with these that it is crazy. I have a full case of like over 200 of these on the card still. And uh, just, just, I'm planning on doing stuff. And like I say, this is my favorite casting of all times. And so I just love this. And uh, yeah, I've got plans for uh, this in the future, but there's the base, Land Rover 90, made in Thailand, Matchbox. This is uh, silver uh, with the uh, silver gray, with obviously with the tamples, and this has got the blue tint, which uh, this was kind of unique. Uh, this is a uh, first time in, in this uh, series that it came with blue with uh, Black interior, just very sharp, just very sharp. Uh, no de detailing on the front or back, but uh, the white ringed flowers, very, very nice. They they pumped out a million and one of these, and uh, they could pump out more if you ask me. All right, moving on to number variation, number 62. Let's focus. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful mint green with a black base uh, with the um, ring uh, ring flower. They say that that has got a mint green tint hub to it, a green tint to it. They are they're chrome frosted or something. Uh, smoke windows with the black interior, but just gorgeous. This was part of the uh 65th anniversary so we have got details on the back uh you can see all the way down here on the bottom there's orange on the bottom there uh turn signals on the side backup lights land rover 90 on the license plates land rover on the uh right side a badge there and then land uh, the matchbox 65th anniversary right dab in the middle awesome 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 and then it also does have um, headlights uh, and and the turn signals up front behind the grill uh, so just awesome uh, let's take a look at the uh, card here just kind of a plain Jane uh, standard stuff that's before they uh, change the card, but it's the Land Rover 90. Very, very nice, very attractive. 
Uh, once again, I have probably got a case, two cases of these on the cart. They are just very, very popular. I buy them up every time I can. But now, these are getting kind of uh, hard to find. You know, 2018, you know, that's two years ago. So, uh, yeah, kind of hard to find. So, there you go. Very, very, very cool. Uh, the next variation, number 63, came out in, well, no, I'm just kidding. This <laughs> is 2020. Come on, Matchbox. Let's do another color or variation of the most favoriteest popular Matchbox out there, the, the, the Land Rover 90, all right? Yeah, well, here it is. This is, this is the uh, TC Taylor construction one. I have stripped the, uh, the decals off of it. And uh, it's not it's not been stripped or repainted. It's, I've just taken uh, um, uh, pure fingernail polish, uh, acetone, and a Q-tip, and uh, taking it off. So very very sharp, just simple like that. Uh, you know, I haven't gotten into uh, getting uh, decals and putting them on or anything like that. Uh, but uh, very very nice. Ch could change the color of the wheels back to black. So there you go. So just a quick recap here. Now, I did hear uh, from Lamley Group that Target is supposedly this year going to reboot this deco in a Target exclusive. So check that out and uh, uh, see, uh, you, you can Google, I believe, uh, Target exclusive Matchbox series and you should be able to, to find it. But uh, this is what is going to be hopefully coming out by the end of this year, hopefully. So one of the things that I wanted to do also, and we haven't done, is uh, now this is where all you kids might want to look away, and uh, all you that are uh, squeamish of heart uh, might, might want to look away here. We're going to take these apart. Now, I haven't taken one apart, so this is exclusive bonus footage right here for you. So this is the first uh, rend the first series, the first um, gen, as you say. And I've already drilled this out. This is the uh, now I I put custom wheels on here. <laughs> I think those are uh, Maisto wheels to be exact. But uh, you can see the um, metal, and it's very easy to just pop these wheels out and uh, with that metal uh, uh, suspension piece that's just kind of a push friction fit on there but all metal and metal there and then uh, here is the interior and that where it incorporates the bull bar pretty nice pretty plain Jane interior but hey it is a discovery or I'm excuse it is a defender so <laughs> discovery it is a defender so it's pretty plain Jane but uh, bench seats in the back with the three row buckets up front and a steering wheel on the right it's a right hooker and then it has a glass that just uh, fits in there this one is kind of a little dungy dirty but it had a, a section out the front there and uh, no uh, windshield wipers or anything like that on there. But you can see here, this is why they had um, the, the windshield kind of had a notch in it because the roof was not solid metal underneath or under the white cap. It was missing some metal, so it kind of lightened it up. But then they just put that plastic top on and hot melted post to create a rivet there. So uh, very kind of cool. Did not have a post in the rear like uh, the the last generation did. Um, so that it was kind of nice. Kind of left the cabin open, but uh, very kind of cool. So there is an exploded view, and this is one of the uh, first uh, additions that I I had taken apart. And there's the uh, MB180, and it had right here with the uh, tow hitch, they had two little tabs on the left of that tow hitch support, 
that would clip into the body here and clip in there and then it would be a one rivet construction post right up front under back just behind the uh, grill so really kind of cool all right so now that we've looked at the old dog let's take a look at one of the new ones and see how it kind of compared uh, real quick here so two posts on this one and uh, I just drilled these out and uh, no I didn't tap them or anything now it did not have uh, a the the rear toe hitch they kind of just reinforced it the other one had the uh, metal support to keep the plastic interior toe hitch from breaking off but interestingly enough obviously they've gone away from the uh, Boy, we cannot focus today. <laughs> but we have uh, gone to uh, plastic crimps on either side of the the axles there. So two prong uh, crimps to hold the axle down. Very light, very small uh, plastic. Very, very light, small. The interior, interestingly enough, has uh, not changed a lot. But uh, three row bucket seats. They did kind of add some head headrest to the to the top front to the top of the front seats and they did put in jump seats in the back so that's kind of cool got away from the bench but it's the same old uh what is it the arb bull bar up front yep old classic i love that i love that and uh now this is um the uh newer version this came with the uh if i can get it out oh uh blue tint window little uh prong there to help center it uh no wipers again still on there but uh, very nice couple holes in there to make the piece uh more cost effective and stuff like that but uh very kind of cool and then a hole in the back there to get that big long post in there holy cow big long post and then you can see the other post right behind the grill there and you can see how the um, bull bar just kind of slides up into the grill there and uh, very very cool but yeah that is was kind of uh, disappointing that they have this big huge post and I don't understand why it can't just be a single rod post why it's got to have the uh, fins the <laughs> rocket fins on the side for support i don't i mean there's no twisting or turning or i don't know but anyway they they did they did do that so uh very kind of cool there you go an exploded view of the old and the new on the last installment of our um land rover 90 casting this is a great one uh, on to 18 minutes. That's the long one. It's the last one. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, I, I finally bit the bullet and I did it and it's awesome. Thank you for joining me. Uh, great, great, great. Hey, before I go, I got to remind you, July 12th is coming up. The anniversary of July 12th, 2019. We're going to be uh, doing a boxing video, a giveaway for my subscribers so make sure you tell your friends and family to subscribe so they can win a box of Land Rovers yes I'm starting to put Land Rovers together to give away and um, that is going to be uh, yeah so awesome so alrighty there you go thank you for joining me keep tuned for more uh, Land Rover shenanigans right here on Roverland with your friend Dano and uh, go over to Facebook Roverland and Instagram Roverland channel and as always my friends slow traffic keep right and have a great Rover day <laughs>